So what I'm about to do is by no means healthy for my body, but it's amazingly healthy for the soul. Don't. Not what you want to see when you expect to work out every other day. Gotta say, just a little bit frustrated with the gym situation at the hotel. When I was actually booking the hotel for this trip, I specifically looked at the different Hilton resorts in the area to find the one that claimed to have the best gym. This one actually, this hotel actually has a spa and a sauna and a pool and as they claimed, an oversized gym with all of the modern cardiovascular as well as weight machines and a full assortment of free weights available for your use. Well, as you just saw, zero free weights. One weight machine, which you can you know, you can modify it and you can change things around and you can work. I could target all of the muscles that I want to target, but it's one machine. And I went down to the gym to take a look at things um, and find out where the gym was. And then I was going to come up after letting my dinner settle or lunch, whatever the heck it was that I just ate, and then go back down to the gym. And as I was there talking to the gal at the fitness center about the weights, two people showed up at the gym, both of them standing in line for the one weight machine. So, a little bit frustrated. 6.49 in the morning, Monday. Executive lounge breakfast from 6.30 to 9.30. Lounge is closed. Interesting. Got a new room and the air conditioner works in this one. So I just walked through the shrine here at the Alamo. I'm at the Alamo compound. There's one of the little gardens here. And I gotta say, I was actually not necessarily disappointed because everything's really cool and the inside of the Alamo is very awesome structurally and historically speaking, but it's very empty. There's not a lot to see in there. I was expecting there to be a lot more about the Alamo within the actual shrine. Um, nonetheless, it was still cool and the, the grounds here are absolutely beautiful, really cool. Uh, glad I decided to come down and take a peek at the Alamo uh, since I'm here in San Antonio. Alright, so time to go to work, get some stuff done. I don't know why I'm not looking at the lens there. Now I'm looking at the lens. There's so many of me in here. All right, so today ends day one of the conference, which I am down here in San Antonio for. It is the AFCEA conference. It's basically a DOD trade show, industry type show. And I'm here providing technical or engineering support um, for our booth. We've got some marketing guys and some sales guys and we're sharing the booth with one of our integrators. And I'm there basically to be able to have technical conversations with potential prospects or somebody who just wants to know more than just kind of the elevator pitch, if you will, about what our product is capable of doing. So I am down here. We just finished day one of the show. It was really great. The, the resort that the show is being held out, the uh, La, La Cantera, El Cantera, La Tortilla, El Torito, whatever it's called, it's a really beautiful, beautiful resort up in the hills um, just outside of San Antonio. But uh, anyways, day one is done. Got a team dinner here in just a little while with an integrator that uh, we're going to do a meet and greet with. And uh, we're going to conclude that. Day two is tomorrow, and then I get to fly home on Thursday. Looking forward to getting home. Friday is going to be a quick day. Got a bunch of meetings. Hopefully the day goes by pretty quick. Got to pack up, and then we head to Florida for vacation. So we're looking forward to it. About 102 hot to hold on to this thing, much more. About 130 degrees in here. Feels amazing. So I'm checking out tomorrow and I have to say goodbye to my two new favorite friends. 
the dry sauna and the steam room. <clears throat> Absolutely love these. Never really spent much time. I spent some time in a sauna before, uh, the dry sauna, but I never really spent any time in a real steam room. And God, it's so relaxing. It feels amazing after a good workout. So I have to say goodbye to my favorite thing about this hotel. Oh well, maybe next time we're here. However, I did forget they asked me to wedge this door open when I left, so. Cheers.